first video we're going to talk about is the light trait. And what we're going to look at is how light travels, how light reflects, how light can be absorbed, and how light can bend. The first thing you're going to do is show the kids an example of how light travels in a straight line. Take a flashlight, take a baseball or tennis ball, whatever one's easiest for you. What you're going to do is you're going to turn the light on and you're going to show them directly that the light is traveling in a straight line. You can do it on a wall or you can do it on the ceiling, whatever is easiest. Then take the ball and then come and show what happens to it and have the kids say what they're seeing. Basically what's happening is it's kind of like an eclipse. The light's being blocked and we're seeing it go into different spots. That way we can also sort of still tell that light is traveling in a straight line. The next thing you're going to do is you're going to show them how light reflects. And what you're going to do is you're going to take a sheet of tin foil, a tiny mirror, and a soup can. I always say get the three just because it shows them the differences of the shininess of the three items. Now, I always ask them which one they think is going to reflect the most. And a lot of them always pick the tin foil. And I'll show you what the tin foil looks like when you shine it. When you shine the tin foil on, the flashlight onto the tin foil, it turns around and it starts to bend the light into a bunch of different spots. If you do it with the soup can, it's pretty dull. You're not going to be able to do much with it. However, with the mirror, if you were to reflect it, you'd be able to perfectly apply makeup and such if you needed to. And that shows you that the mirror is the best reflector. The next part is you're going to talk about how light is absorbed. And what you do is you have a black piece of fabric, same flashlight, turn the flashlight on again and point it into one area. Nice and close, kind of like this. Let the, black, or the flashlight beat onto the black and ask the kids what you think is going to happen with it. Most of them should hopefully come up with the idea that they think it's going to be absorbed or the light's just reflecting on it. Have a couple kids come up and touch it. They'll actually start to feel a little bit of the heat difference, especially if they touch here and then touch an area that's not getting any light. There will be a slight difference, and that way you can show them how light's being absorbed. The final thing is you're going to show them how light can be bent. And what you do is you take a clear glass and a pencil, and show them the pencil. The pencil is straight right here water. I'm going to put the pencil into it and when I hold it straight it looks like that it's still straight. However, when I bent, put the pencil on an angle you can see now that the pencil now looks like it's actually bending in there and that's called refraction and that's light passing through the liquid. With that we're going to talk about refraction a little bit later on. I'll have an experiment where they actually get to show how refraction works. 